now. We're live on Facebook and we're live on Instagram. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, um, I was teaching <laughs> until five, which, you know, time you sort of say goodbye to everybody and have a tidy is uh, 5.15. <laughs> um, and then thought, oh, I've got no makeup on or well, no lipstick on, so then, there's no sewing machine here. So anyway, anyway, we made it. Oh, we're here now, so let me just do my thing, um, and you can say hello if you're there. Maybe nobody's there. Nobody noticed. There's a few people on Instagram oh, popping on. I see. Oh, hello. Do you say hello if you're there? Um, be lovely to see you. So much has happened in the last two weeks, hasn't there? There's been so much going on. Let me just oh, very hot down. now. I know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a rush. It was. So we've had a lovely couple of weeks. It's been really good. I think just after um, I spoke to you before, I had the tunic Bible workshop. And I'm so sorry, we've been so busy, I haven't posted any pictures. But there were some beautiful tunics made, and I have got them. So I'll get Amy to post those over the weekend. Because obviously we've got nothing else going on. Nothing else. Um, nothing else going on. Pamper in the Post said, glad you made it. Oh! Thank you, Sue. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Oh, yeah, so we did uh, Tunic Bible uh, after I last saw you. We are definitely on Claire's threads on Facebook, aren't we? Yeah, okay, just checking. Just checking. I didn't I do it on your personal one. There's no one speaking to me. That's uh, I thought we did it on the personal one. For a minute, I was like, wait. <laughs> no, I'm on that. I'm on We've that. been there yes. before. Yeah, done that before. Um, yeah, and then um, on the Tuesday after that, we headed down to Brighton again for the Makers Atelier retreat. Oh, thank you, Sue. Um, which we had a fantastic week. This is actually You're going to have to do a twirl yeah, this on that outfit. Top. This outfit is so good. Yeah, Amy really liked it, which is nice. It's a top. So it's the... Um, uh, hi, Janet. How are hi, you? Hi, Janet. This is... I think it's a Starlock. I think it's the Ascot top. And it has a belt with it. And I didn't have enough of this fabric to make the belt. So I made it from the linen and cotton that I got from a fabric godmother. Actually, these both fabric godmother fabrics. Um, so I made the belt from the same fabric as the trousers. I love it. So, thank you. Hi, Sally. Hi, Sally. How are you? Getting packed, ready for next week? Oh, I wish we had aircon in here. Oh, I did put it. I have put it on <laughs> for the first time. I put the aircon on today in the yeah. sewing room because it was very busy. Thank you, Janet. I think it's called the Ascot Top by Stylot. Oh, hi, Joe. Joe said she'll be catching on, watching on catch up oh, later. Thank you, Joe. Um, oh, Joe. Sorry, I got your message. I've been a bit crazy today. I'll reply to you later. I did get your email, so. Was that Joe George? Joe, yeah. Oh, thank you, Joe. Hi, Phil. How are you? Thank Hi, Phil. You. Oh, Dookie's waving at us on Instagram. Oh. Hello, Dookie. Nice to Thank you for joining us today. Um, yeah, so we went straight from uh, the Tunic Bible Workshop to Brighton for the Tomakers Atelier Retreat. We had a great week, didn't we, Ames? Mm. It was really, really good fun. Uh, that's the retreat. It's a bit different from our retreat because we spent the first day doing lots of samples and playing about with different fabrics. Uh, and then we go fabric shopping, so people choose and make an atelier pattern. So I'm just going to do um, an adjustment because I feel like the camera's a bit high. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, carry on. Uh, hi, Julie. <laughs> it's a bit wobbly. We're all a bit wobbly at the beginning, you know what it's like. We like to keep oh, you on your thanks, toes. Oh, Sally. Thank you very much. Um, oh, Sally's getting on with her fuchsia challenge. What's the fuchsia challenge? Is that fuchsia the colour or fuchsia, fuchsia the flower? Fuchsia the fuchsia the flower. Uh, what are you doing with fuchsia, Sally? Hello, Glamour Creations. Oh, Janet, you're coming to the um, Mesa Atelier wrap dress uh, class, aren't you, uh, Janet? Which will be lovely. That's at the end of the oh, month. Oh, Mesa Atelier is here. Hi, oh, Francis. Hi, Francis. Just saying what a fabulous week we had. And we haven't posted any pictures back yet either. We've got some great pictures. We will post those. Oh, um, Sally's mother of the bride outfit. Oh, of that course. That fuchsia challenge. Yes, that one. Yes, sorry. We put, I thought it was only Tuesday when we saw you, Sally. We slept since we, then, we slept Sally. slept since then. Sorry, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Sally's making a fantastic outfit for a friend of hers. All for love. Um, and uh, it's beautiful fuchsia pink. Um, satin back crepe. Oh, hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Nice to see you. What are you up to today? So, yeah, lots of beautiful things made on the Makes Atelier workshop. People went off. A lot of people, after they've done the song for us, decide they want to work in leather and go off with Francis to the leather uh, leather man. And I take a group to Ditto and we buy lots of fabric and come back and start sewing uh, on the end of the first day. And then spend the next two days sewing. Amy did a fantastic cocktail masterclass. Um, we had lots of nice cocktails, went to lovely restaurants. <laughs> Hi, Jean. Uh, yeah, so, and again, it was great. And we did a brilliant show and tell at the end. Everyone showed off what they'd made, so. Mm. 
it was a really great week, really good week. And then we had a nice bit of a, actually, we had three days off, didn't we, Ames? We did. How do we manage that? Three right. days off, three whole weekend, days off. Three whole days. Yeah. So I did a bit of sewing, that's when I made my top. Oh, Francis says it was a lovely week. It was a good week, wasn't it? It was so lovely to see everybody. Hi, Margaret, happy Friday. Oh, Vintage Event Bars is here and sent oh. a cocktail emoji. Hi, Dan. You have to listen to me going on a bit before Amy comes in does a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> but she has got one for you, so don't worry. The trolley, I can see the, the trolley flies. I can see the trolley off to the side here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we did, a, I've done a few classes this week. Hi, Helen, how are you? Nice to see you. Claire has made a skirt this week from the Sewing with Bible, Newton and Pattern Company. Well, I haven't heard of that one either. Hello, Esther, how are you? Oh, our Esther's been down to the new premise of the Eternal Maker, which is the Eternal Maker have moved down to Siddlesham. Um, but it's, it's much better than their previous place. The pictures looked great, didn't they, um, Esther? So that's really good. Did you buy some fabric, Esther? That's what we really want to know. Did you do some shopping down there? So yeah, Eternal Maker were a shop who were in Chichester, which is on the outskirts of Chichester, uh, and they have outgrown their space because they had a lovely cafe and workshop space, and they've just moved to a barn, I think they're barns, um, near Siddlesham, which is a, a village just south of Chichester. So good luck to them. That's really good, really exciting to see uh, businesses like ours expanding. That's always a good sign. So yeah, this week we've done, what did we do? Tuesday was afternoon and evening classes. Wednesday at level three, pattern cutting, introduction to pattern, cum, pa pattern cu cutting. <laughs> you see, I tell I've been busy, can't you? I can't even speak and I haven't got a drink here. <laughs> uh, and then um, today we were sewing with silk. So lovely day, seven lovely ladies making silk camisoles today. Oh, there we go. Um, Jilly's saying, did you pop down to the old piggery just down the road? <laughs> so you can get tea down there. Have they not got a cafe in the new Eternal Maker then? Uh, they used to in the old one, didn't they? Dan Maybe. said he's just going to sit with his legs in the pool waiting patiently. Oh, it's nice and warm up there. We're coming up to Carlisle next week, Dan. That's, that's our, our Carlisle retreat is next week. So I'm hoping it's a nice uh, sunny, sunny weather up there. So it's been nice down here. So yeah, tomorrow... Oh, this really busy week, rushing around. <laughs> Amy spent the whole day making kits because tomorrow we're heading off to Carlisle for our couture retreat. So we're very excited. We're going tomorrow. The retreat starts on Sunday. Uh, and then we've got a whole week of lovely couture sewing. Um, everyone's making different things this time, but they're all working with Linton Tweed. That's the idea because uh, Carlisle is the home of Linton. Um, Hi Catherine, how are you? Getting ready for next week? Hi Catherine. We're very excited. Um, we're staying in a wonderful hotel called Farlham Hall uh, and it's about 15-20 about minutes from Carlisle Centre. We couldn't find a nice enough hotel actually in Carlisle so we're staying just outside um, but we will be going of course into Linton. We also have to go to a fabric shop. Oh Dan's on a Greek island. Oh I thought it must be nice up in, up in um, Harrogate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, "Don't ask which one he hasn't got a clue." Oh, as long as it's sunshine and you've got a pool, who cares? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Mary Ann is here. She's joining us next week. Oh, hi, Mary Ann. Saying, looking forward to meeting you on Sunday. That'd be great. We're looking forward to meeting you too. Very said she's very excited. I know it's going to be lovely. I think what got everyone, in, apart from all the Linton talk, obviously, Amy sent out the menu for the first night. Yeah. Because we had to pre-order for the first night. And it's a pretty good menu, isn't it, ladies? It's, it's a, a very, very good, good menu. menu. And that's what it's going to be like all week. I think yeah. we'll be making Fine things... dining. Fine dining all Two week. Two rosettes. So we're going to be in elastic waist by the time we come back. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but it's going to be lovely. So, yeah, we're heading off there. And we come back on Friday. So, whole week. Uh, oh, I said she had to rush back to Worthing. She'd booked lunch, so... Oh, Jilly's coming next week. Oh, oh Jilly, I also got your message. Sorry, I'm a bit slow on replying to emails today because I've been doing lots of prep. But um, we will have some pattern paper, yes. Yes, we will take pattern paper. We're going to take some calico, probably. We'll have things like silk organza. It depends um, what we can fit in the car, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. We really only want to bring one car. Yeah. We'll shove everything. Can't in. promise a tailor's dummy at the minute, though, Jilly. It's going yeah, to be a last minute trying. decision. It is going to be if a we last can fit minute. In the car. So if anyone else who's coming can fit a tailor's dummy in their car, much appreciated. Because I don't know if we've got to fit one in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 
So it'll have to be, but don't worry, because we can, you know. We don't need we one. We don't need a tailor's dummy, because I, I could do fittings on you, Jilly. That'd be fun. Um, but yes, um, Jilly's saying she's excited and anxious. Don't be anxious. Don't be anxious. It's going to be fun. Lots great of fun. fun. It's going to be great fun. Everyone's going to be uh, in the same boat, all doing lots of lovely hand sewing. Oh, hello, Brenda. Uh, Brenda came last, we came last week, um, it was a great week wasn't it B? We had such good fun, got her yeah, so Every back. time I'm like Brenda, oh yeah. I know, I have to think Brenda's <laughs> <B. laughs> Um Got your sojo back, that's great. How, how did you get on with your trousers though B? Did you manage to finish them? Um, uh, Brenda was, um, <laughs> she's just going to pinch a, pinch a waitress to do her fitting on. <laughs> You can um, use me, Jenny. You can use Jip, Amy. I'll be your um, tailor's dummy. Yeah, B was making a lovely pair of trousers last week, and I did a talk on uh, underlining, one of my talks on underlining, and so um, B decided to underline her trousers, so which looked great. They did. Because oh, it took a bit longer. Mary Ann is saying, should I bring my machine, or is it not needed? I don't think you'll it's need it. It's not needed. You won't need it. Oh, we're we're going to bring a, a few. few. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Jinx. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> we're bringing a few machines, but as most of the sewing is done by hand with couture, you don't, you don't need to have lots of sewing machines going. We're just going to put a few around the edge of the room and then we can all share machines. Um, I think some couple of people are bringing machines, but there's no need, really. Most of the time it's going to be hand sewing. It's going to be amazing. Lots of tacking. Lots Even of I'm going to try and do some. Yeah, Amy's bringing the project because you've <laughs> got a am. couple that are I've unfinished. I've got two you, unfinished couture projects that need addressing. Actually, yeah. I've got three, but I was much smaller on the first one. <laughs> Oh, Brenda says trousers all finished. Oh, too tight around the middle. Oh, the aspirational trousers, the aspirational. She's off to Slidding World next week. It's all those <laughs> meals we went for last week. We did go out, yeah. We did have a few meals out didn't we, again. And it's so difficult not to have three courses. It is. Tricky. Anyway, we'll think about the diet when we get back from, get back from uh, Carlisle. So I've been keeping an eye on what you've all been up to as well. Margaret sent some lovely pictures. Um, I don't think I got a chance to talk about it on the last live. From, um, from a, a, show, a textile show she visited in France. Really, really great. So if you get a chance to have a look at those pictures, and obviously if you're in France, when it's on the shows on, it's well worth a visit. It looked fantastic. Um, and uh, Justin, Justin put pictures up of finishing her sequin bra set while watching us on the live. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. The TV set with us really on it. So that's great. What are you making this week, Justine? That's what I want to know. Um, um, and uh, Catherine put a pretty good picture of some awful pattern matching. Oh yeah, I saw it was that. a coat with big blue circles on it, and they were just oh gosh, I think all of us were awful pattern matching. We've all got a thing about it now. Once you once you start sewing, you have a real thing about pattern match. Suzanne's made some more dresses. Suzanne's made um, dresses with jubilee little heart shaped jubilee, uh, Union Jack flags on it for her granddaughters um, for a jubilee party. And I was just wondering if anyone else is making dresses or things. I know Esther is making jubilee outfits for jubilee parties i saw some great things with it. it's nothing to do with sewing but my nail lady we were chatting about the jubilee and she's making cupcakes mm. and i said oh what are you going to decorate them are you going to get your piping bag out and she said no on amazon you can get little sugar like rice paper thins with mm. the queen's face on oh we need to get i those. need them yes yeah she said cakes. they're only like three pounds from amazon oh, so, that's brilliant yes yeah. excellent perfect I know, so I know Esther is making some things. Uh, she's using those little heart-shaped um, Union Jacks to make covered buttons on a, on a dress that she's made. And she's done uh, cuffs that turn back is with the Union Jack fabric. Oh, it's a navy nice. dress, but with the turn back. And I think she's making her husband a waistcoat, aren't you, Esther, as well? Wow. So anyone else making things for Jubilee? I think, we're, I think we've had so much going on. I think we had time to think about I'm it. I'm going to be making bunting because yes. I have to decorate my house. All of the houses on our street are decorating their houses. So, yeah, we're having a Jubilee party. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to make some bunting. I've still got lots of red, white and blue bunting from various different... Mm, I need my own stash of bunting You now. do, yes. It's very important. It is. It's one of those, now you've moved out, you need your own bunting. I do. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. So yeah, let me know if you're making things and obviously post pictures of your Jubilee outfits on the Claire's Threads page, on the Meet Her Sewers page rather, because we always like to see what you've been making. And I think it's going to be good fun actually. It's a good excuse, isn't it, to make something new. Yeah. Whether we make something with Union Jack fabric or make something in red, something in white and something in blue. Well, I think maybe for me, that's what I would probably rather do because yes. I would never wear again a Union Jack outfit unless there was another Jubilee. 
Oh, but I did make when Alice was four. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Okay. I mean, Alice, I, I, um, my younger daughter was little. I made her, she had, she had red hair, so I made her a, a um, Spice Girls dress. The Union Jack dress. With the Union Jack on it. Still got that somewhere. Yeah, so that's always a good one. It would fit on one dress. thigh, maybe. Yeah. Perhaps <laughs> we should use that as the bunting. Yeah. We need to get that out for the hem party. Yes. We do actually. Oh yes, we do. <laughs> she's in the picture. I bet she still fits in it. Yeah. <laughs> she's so tiny. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, let me know. Moving anyway, on. Moving anyway, on. moving on. We're just, we've been doing a lot of wedding planning this week. Yeah. So, yeah. In between everything else, a lot of wedding planning. So I've got some um, some stuff to show you. We've got some new things that have come in. Very first exciting. Thing, thing. That first thing be, that's exciting. Well, it's exciting for me. And um, uh, is that uh, tacking thread? I've managed to, to source some Italian tacking thread. Uh, which comes in different colours. So one of the things that we always uh, always moan about is that the Guterman tacking thread only comes in uh, yellow, pink and cream, which is often quite difficult because you need your tacking to show on the linton. And I've managed to find, look at this, blue and red. And I've massive got, reels Yeah, too. great big reels. These are, I don't know, it doesn't say the yardage, but they're 50 grams, so loads. So they're 475. And I've got them, I've got them in cream as well, and I've also got them in white. Uh, so and they break they're exactly the same the thing with tacking thread for those of you who don't know is that we, when we're doing couture sewing we mark all the stitching lines around the edge so we work with stitching lines rather than cutting lines so we have to mark all our stitching lines and this really helps particularly with fabric like linton which frays a lot so if you were you trying to use the edge of your fabric as your as your guide it would be gone by the time you get to the sewing machine so this tacking thread uh, is uh, really good to use. You mark all your stitching lines uh, and then when you pull, stitch your fabric together, you pull the tacking out. If you've inadvertently stitched over your thread, it breaks really easily rather than distorting your seams. So, exciting for the couture retreat ladies anyway. That's hey, very exciting. Couture. I'm excited yes, about that. Yes, I'm excited about that. Because we've had to use like DMC embroidery threads in the past, haven't we? Yes, and that doesn't Which break. Which is trickier. Just to get the colour. just because of the colour. It doesn't pull out as well and we end up pulling our stitches. Oh, so. Jilly said that uh, she's made an African wax fabric dress which I do know about I've yes, seen the I've fabric and now that. the flights have been cancelled oh no for the wedding I hope you can get new flights Jilly yeah um, will there be some room in your car to bring yes we there will we bring them That's, Catherine we'll definitely be bringing that yes. yeah absolutely yeah because I think it's some people who are working with um, pale colours of Linton like I've just done I'm working one at the moment and I have used red um, uh, embroidery thread because I need to be able to see my stitches but um, the other thing, again, a little bit for the couture retreat people, is um, silk buttonhole twist now comes in 30 metre um, rolls. So they always used to come in these little tiny 10 metres, and you'd have to buy two or three because you have to practice. Um, and silk buttonhole twist is the best thing to do in hand stitch buttonholes. I've got several colours of this, uh, and again, that's on 30 metre rolls. So that's quite exciting as well. Everything's exciting. It right? is, exciting. but then we are geeks. We are, we are, yes, we get excited about it. <laughs> there was something uh, weird we got excited about yesterday, I can't remember what it was. I can't remember. It was binding something, it was something, 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 something bizarre. It was. <laughs> oh, wait. Ginny <laughs> wants a reel of bread, okay. We've <laughs> <Okay. laughs> got plenty. I've got, I've got, got like, lots. I've got like 10 reels of each colour, so we're fine. I got it, it arrived the other day and Barbara bought some straight away. <laughs> Um, the other thing I've got, which I have only just unpacked, so I'm just going to lift the box up because I can't see what I've got in it. Oh, here we go. Um, this is a company called So Anonymous who do really nice labels. Oh, hi, Heather. Oh, hi, Heather. Ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh while, the, while the cat's away. <laughs> lovely. Sounds good oh, to me. Oh, sounds like you've had a lovely time, Heather, sewing and drinking wine. <laughs> Um, these are labels, so as you know, we do have the Kylie and the Machine labels, uh, but they have to come from Australia, so it often costs us quite a lot to get things over from Australia. So we found a company in the UK, they're called Sew Anonymous, and we have their label. So this one says Sewing Queen. Yeah, that one says Sewing Queen. I haven't opened Seen it yet. Scene Queen. Scene Queen, sorry. Oh, hang on, it needs a. Oh, there you go. Scene Queen Facebook. Sewing Rocks. They're cool, they're really cute. Yeah, made with love. I'll open them all up and we'll, we'll put a picture on um, Stitch Witch. That one. Sewing is my superpower. Yeah, that's a good that's one. That's a good one. I might have to quick look at that one. 
It's like doing an unboxing have, live yeah, on live Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful. If you've ever worn up so beautifully for us. Um, so they're not on the website yet. I keep doing that to you, Dan. I keep saying, look what we've got, and they're not having them on the website. Those are really pretty. Do you want to show those? Look, sewing is Oh, I like that time. one. Yeah. That's, uh, so, that's that one on Facebook. And so there it is, Instagram. I like that one. That's cool. They come in of they're tea, really I lovely. Think. Yeah. I think they're the same price as Kylie and Shane. Yeah. So, anyway, I will get those all out we'll put a little picture and you might do a reel like she did with the thread yeah know, i need to do a lot of dancing reels. around the table or something. yeah and then the other thing which has just arrived oh I this is i did mention last an excitement i've even got the scissors out still um, <laughs> that's just arrived are the maison faux patterns that i want that this is a really nice coat i need that in my life that pattern yeah so let me put them forward so again they're not on the website yet but they will be and that is the Zenith blouse. Yeah. I mean, they're beautiful patterns, come from France. Um, I can't get them all out. They're all boxed There's up. another one. Oh, I've actually got this one. Hang on. These are lovely. The oh, yeah, the Nifty blouse. Yeah. I have made one of their... They're just lovely. Really nice design. Nice design features. So they literally just... Well, that's just cool. And it's like, I haven't seen these yet, so I'm like, oh, look at this. Yeah, you didn't see my choice, Forget that we're on live. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, I'll have a little look at that. I've got yeah. some fabric for that. Look, that's a nice one. Look at the map. You have to look at the line drawings, really. So, so the, Yeah, very artistic. And oh, yeah. They have some nice details. I have made one of their dresses, and the instructions are actually, considering they've been... I've got this one. Oh, you're the leaf. The leaf dress. It's got a V back. Considering they've nice. been translated, they're translated from French very well. But sometimes you have to do a little bit of deciphering. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's funny. That's only half the box. Oh, what? I want to see all of them. Isn't that lovely? That's nice. I like that. Yeah, anyway, I won't open all of them. They'll mm. be a surprise. I'll be adding them to the website. Uh, baby Blue Satin Buyer. Do you want us to bring that with us, Jilly? We do have Baby Blue Satin Buyers. We do. We won't be bringing all the biases with us, but we can certainly bring that colour. Yeah, anyone, if anyone on the Couture Retreat wants a specific one, do let us know. But we could definitely bring the Baby Blue with us. So, so there you go. There's some new things. Tacking threads on the website, but everything else, is, everything else has got to go on. We're a bit behind, aren't we, girl? We are a little bit. But there's exciting things. Maison Favre are... Um, it's always nice to have something a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, That's I'm nice excited about those. They're really nice. Jilly says yes, please. Okay, I'm going to get it off the I'm shelf now. I'm going to get it right now. Is it like a? Oh, I'm going to show you, Jilly. So there's three baby blues. <laughs> I think it'll be the the middle, middle one. one. Depends how much you need, Jilly. Do you know how much you need? Do you know how much you need? We've got like a ice blue, baby nice. blue, cornflower blue. Nice to do a bit of shopping on live, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else wants to do something? Do I need bias for a linton jacket? No, no Catherine, you don't. No. Julie's making a dress. Um, so I'm not sure. What, anyway, we'll have to have a talk about that, which one. We can bring both, Julie, so you can match. Yes, both of So that's exciting as far as uh, new products are concerned. And um, when we get back from the couture retreat, we're actually here for six weeks before we go off to New York. Really we're saying that then we've got six weeks here because we've been back and forwards quite a lot i know the last uh, month or so um so we'll catch up with everything and uh, get everything on the website for those of you that aren't visiting the, the sewing room obviously if you come to the sewing room you'll get first pick <laughs> for everything either right or middle will be fine okay yeah. can you like right as you look at the screen <laughs> <laughs> i know what she means i'll bring them we'll bring them all yeah so lots of exciting things to to add to the um, website. Um, other news, what have I got other news? So when we were on the Brighton Sewing Retreat, the first one, first time we went to visit Fabric Godmother, which was really good fun. We had a lovely time there and they, uh, we, were, we, all felt, we felt very lucky to go and visit uh, uh, Fabric Godmother because they're an online store and they haven't been open for quite a while. But they will be starting their open days again. I think every couple of months they're gonna be opening. The first one is on the 21st of May. So if you love fabric, God by the fabrics, have a look at their website. You do have to book a slot. You can't just turn up. You have to book. But they'll be open on the 21st of May. And I think it's every couple of months going all the way through. So you're very welcome, Julie. <laughs> So have a look at Fabric Godmother for their open days because it's well worth a visit, isn't it? It is, yeah. It really is well worth a visit. It's a dangerous visit, but it's worth it. 
Um, <laughs> I did also notice that there's not, I haven't noticed many, many deals that I was really interested in, although Starlight, for those of you, I know a lot of our ladies do make things for their grandchildren, and uh, there are, um, Starlight have a range called Mummy and Me, so you can make adult and children's clothes. That's cute. It's really, it's really sweet, and they've got 20% off their patterns this week. So um, do have a look at their patterns. We all like a Starlight pattern. I think it's only their PDFs, but uh, have a little look and see anything you like um, and then of course we have to talk about what to talk about Amy's got to come in for this one yeah Amy's going to come in because we need to talk about the same thing I think Amy's going to have to come in twice today because you know there's so we much decided talk about. that talking through the camera I might get yeah, confused and I, you might get a bit bored with me just talking and Amy talking from behind the camera because there's so, so much I'm sorry to talk about. Instagram I won't be able to see your comments but comments. I made a whole lot oh I made a whole lot of notes and I've left them on the computer oh uh, well I have got some notes that's really nice I've printed off two to get them yeah Maybe unless the printer ran out of paper. Uh, but what are we thinking about the Sabi? There's been two episodes, hasn't there, since we last saw you. Um, and uh, I'm really enjoying it, I have to say. What do we think of Sarah Pascoe? No, they're not there. Oh, maybe the printer ran out then. Maybe. Well, we'll go with mine. Yeah, that's annoying. I'm fresh because I only watched them today. <laughs> Confession time, I'm afraid. Hello, everyone. Oh. Maybe I didn't print them. It's okay, I've got it here. There they are. I didn't, yeah, I didn't actually, I've got, I didn't actually print them. I can't, there's a big box there. Oh. There we go. Look, I did, I did do them. But we need to have the other thing up. Oh, Don't worry, I've got it here. Anyway, anyway, what do you think, everyone? T tell us what you think of the same thing. Have you been watching it, watching it live? Oh, watching Janet, it not impressed. Oh, no. Is that with Sarah Pascoe? I just said, what do you think of Sarah Pascoe? Oh, I quite liked her. Oh, I was surprised nice. because I was thinking I was going to miss Joe mm. um, like and we do miss a Joe. lot. And I really liked him. Mm. Um, uh, yes, Jim. Really, that is not the sewing bee. I know. We're talking but, about the sewing bee. <laughs> <laughs> but I am quite excited about that as well, Jimmy. Because we've I've seen the original <laughs> version with Angela Lansbury and we saw it at the theatre as well. So the new, the new movie. Yeah. Ghost of you and everything. Okay. We'll talk, we'll talk about, about that later. We'll talk about that when it does come uh, out. Janet doesn't find her funny. Well, yeah, she's not really funny funny, is she? No. No. She's just nice. Not really. She's so quite nice. I mean, we would laugh out loud at Joe Lysett last yes, time. and there's absolutely. not been a laugh out loud moment yet. No, there hasn't. Um, definitely not. If anything, Esme is funnier. Yeah. I think, yes, Esme is definitely funnier. Esme yeah. and Patrick together. But yeah, they are funny. Um, but she's very nice to the contestants. Yeah, she is. She's quite seems to be fairly mm -hmm. supportive of them. Yeah, that's what um, I thought as well. Yeah. But yeah, it's just a different dynamic, isn't it? Mm. It's always when there's new judges on Bake Off as well. We're always mm. a bit. Whoa. Yeah, exactly. How dare you? Yeah, well, when, when, Joe, when Joe took over from Claudia, we were like, oh, "How could you do such a thing? How could he come and replace Claudia?" <laughs> 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 but he did, and he was great. We really loved him. Yeah, and I think it's been very good for him being on the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nomination for a BAFTA. Yes, that's on Sunday, isn't it? The BAFTA. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to watch out for that. Yeah. Let's see. But yes. Um, I think she realises Joe's yeah. shoe's very big still. Yeah, yeah. It must be quite daunting, mustn't it, for her? It must, yeah. I think she's got to try and make it her own. She's got to make it her own. She has, yeah. She can't try and be silly funny or alternative funny like Joe mm. was, really. Mm. But yeah, she's lovely with the sewing. Yeah. So yeah. we've got because we haven't seen you for two weeks. So mm. we've got both episodes to talk about. Yeah, and it's all very fresh in my mind because I haven't watched either of them. No, until today. You caught up while you were doing all the while stuff I was working. Oh, it's been I just haven't had time. No, because um, the first week, actually last Wednesday, we couldn't watch it because we were actually at the Makers Atelier retreat, weren't we, Francis? So we couldn't watch it last week because we Francis to make it. <laughs> But we um, also uh, we didn't want to watch it on our laptops when we were tired. Exactly, and stuff. we, we, we were out for dinner, time. so we were out for dinner on the on the night, so we didn't watch it until the week. I didn't watch it till the weekend. Mm. Um, it was over there, cause it was a bit messy. I think it's generally, it looks a generally bit messy. quite messy. Um, Sorry, everyone. So um, I really liked the little wool skirt yes. pattern yeah. with the pipe cracked. Oh, oh, hi Suzanne. Suzanne. Hi Suzanne. Suzanne's in the country already in Wimbledon, getting ready for the Good Cheer Retreat. Um, we're just talking about the sewing bee, Suzanne. Yes, we are, we're yes. only on week one's episode so far, so yeah, the wool skirt I mm. thought was good. Although I didn't, I didn't like the pocket, did I you? didn't think it needed those pockets, no. they only did it as a technique. Yeah, thing, they did. Yeah, but the skirt um, was nice. Although, 
one of the guys, I can't remember, I'm still learning their names. Obviously, mm. the first few weeks are quite tricky to learn all their names. Yeah. But he made a check one and didn't match the pattern on the back, and nobody said anything. No, I noticed that. Did I you notice? That, yeah. I was like, that is like obviously out. Yeah. Why would you pick a check and then not pattern And then that? not match it. Yeah. yeah. It seems a bit like there were a lot of wolves he could have gone for. And I do wonder if they they can't show all the crypt. All the, all the critiques and they yeah. did point out but they didn't show it on the show because it's, it's not it relevant so at this point it was really obvious yeah um but yeah i thought that was good mm. and i think the right person won the lady that made her own piping yes she did her. yes absolutely that was the older lady wasn't it yeah um and then yeah. the lounge where to an evening top was just stupid <laughs> I mean, it was just stupid. <laughs> we never really like the uh, we never really like the transformation challenges. I don't, like I don't know what everyone all. else thinks about the transformation I mean, challenges. Yeah, I don't like them. It, sometimes they are quite good, but that particular mm. one was just none of them were good. No, I didn't. even the one they said was good wasn't good. No, I didn't think they were. <laughs> no, it's like <laughs> it was like what is no one, when, no one would ever wear that. No, <laughs> and I don't know if I missed the description. Was it supposed to be an eighties disco top? I didn't it was think just it was a going out. Just a going out top. I thought it was this. Maybe disco. Disco going isn't out top. a thing no. is it anymore. No. Yeah, very odd. Anyway, I thought yeah. that was a bit outdated and silly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Say what you think, games. I'm gonna. <laughs> That's what this is. This is real chat this about sewing. So yeah, chat. we're not gonna hold anything back. No. Um, there's no point saying everything was great. No, because it wasn't. Because it wasn't. <laughs> Um, yeah, we had this chat with Francis, didn't we? We were saying, like, you wouldn't actually wear anything on the same thing, but it's good that Sony show on the table. Although, some of those wrap dresses. I have to say, that's what Jilly just said, yeah. actually, that the wrap dresses Helen are really good. Like transformation Linda's challenge. Janet, yeah. <laughs> generally rubbish. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look, everyone's saying this. Yeah. Thing. Not even sure it should be included. Agreed. Agreed, yeah. I mean, there minutes. is something much better do? they could do. Exactly. What can you do, really? I get like minutes? upcycling is a thing, yeah. and that's quite cool. And turning a garment, making it better. But what they it's just stupid. Yeah, it just seems a bit silly. It is. Um, but the and also, I feel like it crafts up dressmaking unnecessarily. Yeah. You know, it makes so it, it just it's a two different yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 Anyway, the wrap dresses were well, good. Really I good. thought they were all good. I liked all of them, to be honest. I thought they were all made a good effort they were already good yeah. even the guy that went mitch his yeah. ABBA inspired one if it was longer it would yeah have been okay. exactly he did a good effort i um, really liked the organza one she's yeah. she's gone down as one of my favorites man Yi. oh yes i didn't agree with the wrap dress of the or the one that won yeah it was really nice yeah. but it wasn't anything special i didn't think it should have got garment of the week i think it was the fabric that made that dress claire said the african wax print one yeah that was good yeah and i really liked the silk organza one I yeah it was just so clever yeah that showed a lot of skill didn't mm. it it did and I, yeah I, I agree with that it was really it what did stand out that one with the black edging but mm. i think it was the combination of the fabrics that made it look really good yeah rather than the sewing sewing was obviously you stabbed yourself i was just stabbing myself with pins <laughs> Yeah, so but they were all very good. I was very yeah. impressed actually. That's a yeah. high caliber of sewers. They it was shit. because the main thing you think of the reason they chose a wrap dress is because you don't want it to gape, and none of them mm. gaped, did they? No, none of them were gaping here, so they all fitted really well, which is the whole point. It's made to measure, isn't it? Yeah. So um, um so then now Julie hasn't watched this week, so you have to block your ears now, Julie. Oh, oh, we are going to talk about me. this week. Now. We're going to have to. We have to because we're here. Yeah. Um, so, so the sports week. Yes. Um, well, pattern easy. challenge, I loved that with the trainers. Yes, how oh, cool! I really want to know where you get those soles from, so they yeah, can make some. Yeah, we need to get them. In fact, Christine, who was here today, was saying that she wants um, Susan to look for some Linton, so she can so she can make some Linton, Linton, trainers. Linton trainers. That's a cool trainers pattern, isn't it? Yeah, like they're like converse. Yeah, I don't know where that's from. I have no, I haven't seen anyone unless the fold line. I didn't check theirs. The fold line might have said today. They often say where the patterns have come from, mm. um, but I haven't seen we'll anyone. We have to check some of our suppliers because. Um, might be prim a used to do the espadrille kit, yeah. so maybe it's from them because a lot be of the products they use are prim. Mm. I'm not supposed to say that, yeah. but they are. You can tell they are. You can yeah. tell they are because they were using Vario pliers yes. that we're always trying to make everyone use. For the eyelets. <laughs> for the eyelets. So, so that's what really, uh, through, some of them found really difficult, wasn't it? The, the eyelets. eyelets. Yeah, so that, there's a lot of eyelets and they were quite close together. So um, yeah, they were great. Those, and they, I was amazed how they actually, most of them managed to do it. Mm. That was a real tough challenge. Very tough. Mm. For week two. Yeah. Meanings. Mm. Um, no, that was cool. I want to make some. Yeah. And then the netball outfit thing. 
Well, the one some of them were quite good. Yeah, I did like the lady who did that fancy stitching with the pleats. That was with yeah. that blue sort of top and did this. That was quite you know interesting. But you know, it is what it is. You know, yeah, it is. It yeah. is what it is. Um, then we'll just move on to the sports. Yeah, we'll just we'll just we'll just gloss over. over the transformation challenge. Yeah. <laughs> so the sports jackets, I thought they all did really well. To be honest, so great. Apart from the guy who went out, and that's a real shame. The woman. The woman. Oh, the woman went out. Oh, the guy who made the jacket too small, which I thought was a that real shame. shame because his idea was really good. Yes, it was and really the way good. He made the little Tom Daly zipper pull. Yeah, and, everything. and then knitted on the knitting on the cuffs. Yeah, I, that was really I know good. that was a real shame. Yeah. Um, who won? I didn't write oh, it I down. Oh, I did write it down. I can so tell have you. a look because that's gone already. I really like Brogan. Yeah. Is another one of my favourites. Oh, Marnie, that's yes, right. Marnie the, the um, army yes, style. Really good. That with, was the, cool. with the scuba with the bit that came out the front with the hidden bits. Yeah, and it was um, cheaply out. Yeah, which is a shame because I really liked it. I like the top she was wearing actually in the organza. Yeah, but the yeah. one armed thing, it was never going to sit right, was it, that no. without one sleeve? No, it that wasn't. was never really going to work. No. Um, the, other, the other guy, the other guy, Stuart, who did his, he's the running guy, isn't he? And he did a. Um, the Flojo inspiration as well, and his was much better. Yeah, so. I really liked. Um, I know up close they said there was some bits that didn't match, but I can't remember what her name the was. The guy is Manny. He did the one. The, the, the no, Manny. One. No, that that's a girl, not a guy. Yeah, that's what I said, girl, didn't I? You said guy. Oh, sorry, no, girl. <laughs> Manny was the, She does the climbing, and yeah. she'd done those little patchworky. That was cool. Bits but the one I really right. liked was the one that was for Serena Williams in the grey and the pink. Oh, yes, that it was, was really nice. Um, broken. Was it broken? Yeah, she's a teacher, isn't she? Yeah, she's yeah. the one who's the teacher. I don't know if she did that one. It wasn't her that did that one. Was it? No. Oh, I thought it was. It was, it was, like, was, like, was it like the, um, <laughs> it was like the, oh no, she did the one that was the um, Team GB kit with the pink in it. Yes, she did that one. Yeah. I can't remember who did the Serena Williams one, but it was cool. Yeah. It looked good. Anyway. Yeah, so. Very good. Anyway, let us know what you think. No one's talking to us now. <laughs> no one's right? talking to us now because we're waffling. Waffling on about <laughs> selling me. <laughs> But we love it. Yeah. But I haven't actually watched the other the ones I was talking about before. The, the last time we saw you, I was talking about the other sewing shows at one and I haven't actually caught up with those, but I did catch up with the sewing bee. So. Mm. The other thing I did finish this week was Esme Young's book, uh, Behind the Scenes, and I would really recommend it. Um, I did it on... Um, uh, yeah, but Janet's saying Brogan looks too young to be a teacher. She's I thought that, Janet. I was yeah. like, how is she a high school teacher teaching yeah. languages? Yeah, she looks very need like a master's to teach languages, yeah. surely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marnie's one to watch, definitely, Claire. I think she is. She's just yeah. really calm, isn't she? She gets on with it, doesn't she? Just really, yeah, like you say, really practical. Yeah. Just gets on. I quite like Marnie. She's a vet, isn't she? Yes, yeah. she is. Yeah. Yeah. No, I really like her. So, yes, I do recommend Esme's book. Uh, I did it on audio because I have a, we have a quite long drive in back up and down to me, just a half an hour each way, so it's a good way to, um, uh, she shows lots of cute puppies. <laughs> it's yeah. a good time to listen to audio books, so I did Esme's book in about a week, I think, because it was so interesting. She's had a really interesting life, right from, obviously, you know, growing up with a military family, swanky modes, Central St. Martins, yeah. all the, you know, and then sewing bits. It's really interesting, and she reads it herself as well so really recommend that um what was, what was, what was that Jim? about the puppies <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it could be puppies <laughs> <laughs> so yeah definitely recommend that book and i've bought a new book that esme recommended in hers so i'll show you that when it comes you know what i like i like a good book i'm listening to now uh, another one that's recommended called dressmakers of auschwitz Oh. Which I never even knew. This is just mind blowing. Some of you might know this already, but there was a uh, atelier sewing room in Auschwitz, um, which was put together by one by the camp commandant's wife, to so that the Jewish seamstresses could make them clothes for the for the, for the Nazis. I'm I, I, I'm listening to. It, I can't believe it. I can't believe. But it, it's true. She's yeah. Anyway, anyway. So I'm listening to that at the moment. So, but you know, it's not not such a 
quite a harrowing story. It is quite a harrowing story. I work. know, but I'm just like, I can't stop listening to it now. I need to know the proper story. Yeah. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. How are you? So we were talking about sewing bees, and I went on to dressmakers of Auschwitz. Yeah. Which is an important story, it's but, you know. Down. Yeah, sorry. But it is an important story. So yeah, I think it's, um, yeah. I, I think it's time for your demo. Oh yes, I'm going to do that. Time. Oh, we are, aren't we? <laughs> I'm only doing a quick demo today because we knew we had quite a lot of uh, quite a lot to talk about the sewing bee and stuff going on. So I'm going to do a very quick demo, following on from last time I showed you how to do finish the seam below an invisible zip. I'm going to show you how to put a facing on. Oh, the top. Paul's here. Oh, hi, Paul. Um, oh, okay. Francis says sneaker kit. Is that as in a company sneaker kit? Because I couldn't see Instagram comments. Um, yeah, well, they're like they're like the high top trainers, you know, the canvas. No, but I think France is saying it's sneakers. It's called sneaker kit. Ah, That's the... okay. I'll have to have a look at that, Francis. Thank you. Does okay. that mean that Francis has watched the same thing? <laughs> well, maybe she's just listening to us. So. <laughs> so. When you have, well, I'm going to have to take the sewing machine up because I didn't even have time to do that look when, before we ran in. Um, uh, when you have put your invisible zip in and you have finished the bottom all beautifully like I showed you last time, sorry about that, uh, you need to neat the top with the facing, obviously it might be a waistband but a lot of time when we do an invisible zip on a dress or something it'll be a facing at a neckline. So there are several ways. <laughs> Francis says, no, I'm listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to look up sneaker kit now. Yeah. Uh, the top of the zip needs to be neat with the facing. Um, so, if you were doing, if you were listening, if you were watching, rather, if you were reading the pattern, let me get to where I'm talking about. If you were reading the pattern, you would just fold the, um, you'd have your face, and obviously this would be interfaced if you were doing the facing. I'm just using a piece of calico here to demonstrate. You would fold your facing back next to the zip and stitch it on across the top and then when you fold that over what happens is you have to deal with all of these layers here and get it all tidy and make it you know stick it all through and try and get it tidy to stitch the facing to the zip so a neater way of doing that is to still fold the facing next to the zip but then open the zip out and fold it over the top so you're leaving a little gap there just for the teeth to go in so there's the teeth next to the uh, facing fold the zip over the top like that and pin it like that and then you stitch that on I'll just move my pins out of the way no idea where the foot of my sewing machine Oh, is. Helen, did you see Jackie replied? It's called The Dressmakers of Auschwitz, is the name of the book. Oh, sorry. I was no, saying, I'm replying, it's fine. I'd lost, the, carry I'd lost on. the look of the comments. There we you go. You carry on. So I'm just going to stitch across the top here. I think the author of the dressmakers of Auschwitz did a talk at the V&A. Actually, I think Frances might have put it in her newsletter, um, but I didn't pick up on it at the time, so I was doing something else. All the way over, do a reverse stitch. Okay, so it's stitched all the way across there. So then you need to trim off the corner like that, and you would probably, if you were doing this, you would layer your seam. You're doing this all properly. Generally, when you're doing this sort of thing, you would layer the um, facing, so cut the facing short. So you trim the corner off and, and layer the seam, and then you pull the facing up and push the corner of the zip through, like that. Okay, so you pull that up, then when you fold the facing down, all of those layers are hidden in between, hidden, hidden inside. Can you see that? So you just pull the facing up, and then that will just lay down next to the zip. So you haven't got all of those messy layers. Does that come across okay? Can you see? Mm -hmm. Excellent. So the only thing you need to do... Oh, Julie says sneaker kit looks great. Oh, That's well done, it Francis. now. We're going to sell out sneaker kit. People are looking, at, looking for it already. 
Oh, there we go. Jackie's given the author of the uh, book as well. Uh, if you want to understitch that, you will need to snip through all the layers so that you can get the um, seam allowances towards the facing. And then you can understitch that as well and then fold it down. So that is a really great way to um, neaten the top of that invisible zip. Very good. Do make sure that you've done them evenly. I didn't double check that because I did that one before. There you go. Look at that. Boom. So now I'm going to do my zip up. It's nice and straight at the top. Um, Excellent. There we go. A little quick demo. So we've really had a lot to talk about today. Do give that a go though. It's the way I like to. You can't do on a line dress, unfortunately. It's really only for unlined things because the lining would get in the way of that. But uh, on an unlined garment, that's the best way to do it. No one's watching now. They're either looking at dressmakers and outfits or, or sneaker kit. kit. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost everyone. But you're going to start watching again now because Amy's coming back in. Yes, cocktails. With a trolley. I think I'm, oh, it's a bit wonky. Well done. So, yeah, Amy's going to pop in with her trolley now so we can have a, look, have a drink for Friday. It's really something to keep us going while we're packing for Carnival. Yeah. Oh, Jackie said we're still. We're still oh, good. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> Which one are you moving over? It's bad. There's a box of patterns and labels and things down here. <laughs> I think you make it deliberately rattly now just for Francis. I do not. <laughs> so, I'm coming in again. Sorry, my coat's a bit long. Oh, cool. You've time. got, I love okay. your coat. He's um, um, giving you good um, comments about your oh, coat, yes. haven't you? This is, my, this is actually the raw edge coat by Makes Atelier. Mm -hmm. I made it for the retreat. And this is a fabric I bought in New York. It's mm -hmm. like a bonded um, scuba jersey. No, it's not scuba. It's jersey. Oh, no, it's jersey, yeah. Yeah, it's a knitted fabric that's bonded onto another knitted fabric. So mm -hmm. it, it um, can be it looks raw like edged. It's sort of painted, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's not really nice. Oh, uh, yeah. This was a very, very quick. This is the only thing I've made. It's been a bit busy. Anyway, what are we having to drink today? Today we're having French martinis. Excellent. Because it was mentioned on the retreat last week, someone said, "Oh, a French martini." And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I love, love a French one. martini. I think I did do one right back at the beginning. Oh, okay. but that was like two years ago. We need to revive them. All Some again. of these really popular ones. Yeah. yeah. So a French martini was one of the first flavored martinis in sort of around the nineties when people um, decided to make. Uh, flavoured martinis. So um, vodka is the key ingredient here. And then, um, thank you Catherine. Oh, you see, it's, um, it's like ankle length, mm -hmm. I made it extra long. And then uh, chambord, or you can use any berry liqueur, so you can use creme de cassis, or you could use um, fraise or framboise, whichever flavour you like. And pineapple juice. Traditionally it's with cassis or chambord. You did have some cassis, didn't you? I do have cassis because we took it to the retreat. Oh, last you week. did, boy, yes. But it's in a box, so we're using shambord. <laughs> but I have always made them with shambord, actually. Mm. Um, but that's where the French part comes in, mm. it's for the, the cure. So, first things first, get some ice into your shaker. And obviously, I am going to make. Two, so I need double the ingredients. So it's quite a nice strong one, this one. So it's a double shot or 50 mils of vodka per each person. Yeah, per person. I should get you all sending pictures of your cocktails now. I know a lot of you do make cocktails after this on the Yeah. <laughs> then um, of the chambord, it's half a shot per person. So I need one shot of it. I thought the ladies on the next video retreat did a very good job with the cocktails last week, didn't they? Yeah. They were very good. So you'll notice my shambord has gone a little bit brown. That's only because I've had it for like a year. It tastes exactly the same. So mm -hmm. don't be alarmed if your shambord loses colour. It just will. Mm -hmm. But um, it tastes the same. And then uh, pineapple juice. Any pineapple juice will do. I oh, oh. <laughs> oh, the open then. Um, and it's one and a half shots per person, but 
you can put extra in if you want to. So I need three, two, three. Thank you. <laughs> Maths at this time of day is not going to go well. <laughs> so it should be a little bit pinker, but as I said, my shambord has gone a little bit brown. But that's okay. You know, come off it out. Give it a good shake. The one thing that I can never do is I've done it with both your shakes now. I can't get the shake in. Yeah, I did a lot of people struggle. Yeah. It's just the knack. Mm. When I first started learning, it took me ages. Mm. So this one needs a really good hard shake because you want this, the pineapple juice to foam up. But yeah, it is just a knack. Honestly, we were all there last week trying to I know, but it took me ages to learn that when I first started yeah. doing it. And it's only a single strain this time, which is just the Hawthorne strainer. And this is when the spring on the strainer comes in useful because we want to hold back some of the foam. So it should be just a little bit pinker, but not a lot. Sometimes you get them in bars and they're almost purple. That's not correct. That'd be like a food colour. It's only it supposed to be a slight flavour of the... And now we can let the foam out. You release the spring. So pretty. And you would then put a fresh raspberry on top, but I'm afraid I don't have any fresh raspberries. No garnishes this week. I'm sorry, there's no garnishes this week. I haven't been out today. I've been very busy. Forgive him, we've got foam as a garnish. We've got foam. There you go. Excellent. French martini. That's great. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Happy Friday, everybody. Hmm. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, that's yeah, really you can taste the berry, can't you? You can, can taste yeah. it through it's the really pineapple nice. juice. Yeah, it's lovely. It's yummy. Mm. It's a good one. And again, it's one of those that most of us will have those ingredients. Mm. And if all we have to get is pineapple juice. Yeah, that's lovely. You really can. Cheers, Sue. Mm. Cheers. Yeah. So, yeah. So there we go. Oh, we actually finished early now. We could chat again, chat a bit more for five minutes. I thought you'd have for a take very long. That's because there was no garnish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. We'll just sit here and think. Mm. Yeah. Oh, what was next week's sign be? I've forgotten already. Me too. Yeah. Anyone remember? We might need to watch it while we're on retreat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we might have to. We can set it up in the sewing. Everyone can sit down and do their hand sewing and watch sewing bin this yeah. week, though, can't they? Thank you, Janet. Thanks, Janet. We will have a nice time next week. We'll miss you next week. I think we will be back again in two weeks, though. I can't <laughs> think of anything that would mean we wouldn't. No, I can't think. Summer. Of. Oh, it's summer week. Oh, yes. It is. I saw them making all the little crop tops, which we would have got Cut out some crop tops. Was that the I'll tell you what we didn't talk about. What? Met Gala. Oh, the, the Met, Met Gala! Gala. That's what we haven't talked about. Oh, yes. Quick. quick, Met Gala. Did you all watch the Met Gala? See the dresses? I mean, I it's my thing that on the Sunday night mm. before the Met Gala, I will be awake mm. looking for the first few ones and then I have to fall asleep. Yeah. And then the first thing I do when I wake up I, is... Yeah, I do the first thing in the morning. Yeah. Thing. But um, yeah, I, I did post pictures on the Claire's Threads page and they were the E! Online pictures, which I think showed more than any of the Vogue magazines this time. Mm. So you get to see all of them, and also if you if you continue going through, there's pictures of the after parties as well. Mm. The dresses there were some good parties. dresses. So yeah, I thought there was some one. I, mean, I think Blake Lively started the show, didn't she? Blake really? Lively was amazing. But um, I thought Chloe Kardashian looked amazing. Yeah, there um, were so many really good ones. Lots of controversy about Kim Kardashian in the Marilyn dress. Well, because it wasn't done up at the back. That's yeah. why she had the first she doll, the because it didn't fit over her bootay. So they unpicked the back seam. I know Marilyn was sewn into that dress originally, but they had unpicked the back seam. And, and then, then just tied it at the top. So there's a picture of her trying it yeah. on at Ripley's. Then you want to see the picture. And uh, picture. it's like a big gap. So yeah. that's why she had the first doll on. Mm. So I knew it. Yes. I said there's something going there's something on there. Not wrong there's with a that. reason she yeah. got that first doll. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, lots of controversy. I hope yeah. you all enjoyed it looking at those the dresses because they are fantastic, aren't yeah. they? Really love them. Yeah. Really love them. And it was nice so. that they were all quite like wearable dresses. Most of them weren't too costly, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, because sometimes, mm. I mean, it's always amazing, but sometimes they are like yeah. massively extravagant. Mm. This time it was very. Very glamorous. So anyway, let us know what you think. We, oh, we Glenn think Close. Glenn Close. Did you pink. see her shoes? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, my days. If you have to follow follow Bardia's... 
Bardiazelli, I think he's called, and he's the cinematographer for the Met Gala, and he does like seven or eight special videos for the Met Gala mm. with select um, celebs, and he did Glenn Close, and there's a picture of her sitting on the floor, and oh my god, her shoes are like 10 inch heels. She was oh, wearing 10 inch platforms. She was wearing trousers and a, a coat, yeah. and, and then she had big bright pink, pink 10 inch platforms on, I Good for her. Yeah, yeah that's the first time she's ever been to the Met Gala, apparently. Is it? Yeah. Oh, no wonder she had a great time. I know. Julie saying Angie and Jolie. I can't remember Angie and Jolie. No. I'll go back and look at Angie and Jolie. I really love Kate Moss's and her Kate Jolie Moss Jolie. and Lila yeah. Moss, yeah. yeah so many. Yes. Anyway, so many good ones. So do have a look. They're all, I've all, I put a link up on the Claire's Fresh page. Do have a look at all the fantastic dresses and let us know which ones were your favourites. Yeah. I thought there were some great ones. Really, really good. good. Really good ones. So. But anyway. That's that's us for today. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for I did I did, I thought I'd written that on my thing, oh, but I yeah. haven't. The biggest oh, there you of the go. Week. saying wrong face. I didn't think I'd seen Angela Jolie. Oh. Um, <laughs> at the Met Gala. Did I put it on my notes? No, I didn't. Anyway. Oh, I th yeah, because Angela. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Catherine said she called Kate Moss um, and Lily James. Yeah, but not Lily's after party. Oh, I haven't seen many of the after parties. Yeah, yet. there are some interesting after parties. A lot of them got out of their very over the top red carpet dresses for the after parties. Mm. Thank you, well, Claire. Bye, everyone. Thanks Colorado, for coming. And we'll tell you all about it in a couple of weeks' time. See and ya. See us then. Thanks bye. for Bye. Bye.